the Nottingham Canal came into existence around about 1790. And it came about because various Nottingham businessmen and colliery owners, particularly in the North Knots and South Derbyshire coalfields, were having to transport coal by wagon. And they thought a canal system would benefit them if it ran from Nottinghamshire into South Derbyshire, a distance of about 15 miles. And in 1792, the actual work started. By 1802, they completed all the wharfs, all the buildings and all of the bridges necessary across the canal. We are within the Castle Wharf area of Nottingham. Now this is the hub of the canal when it was built in the late 18th century. Uh, we've got the British Waterways building behind us and this was very busy with unloading and loading of goods, mainly coal, to the rest of the country which was brought in from Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire collieries. But before the canal, all of this area was part of the River Lean floodplain and the whole area was carpeted in wildflowers, carpeted in meadowlands. We had a tragic accident down on the canal. Once the explosion had happened and all the debris and everything was repaired, the canal got back into usage again. But unfortunately, its demise started to happen. This began because a new form of transport um, started to operate across the country and it was the railways. So the Midland Railway opened their first station on Carrington Street in 1839. Unfortunately, people found that the railways were a faster mode of transport and subsequently the canal went into demise. But eventually, by 1963, the canal system was still running, but British waterways took it over and then it was transferred and now much of it is run by the Canal and Rivers Trust. And it's those people we have to thank today for actually maintaining and cleaning the canals that we see and benefit from. In terms of the modern history of the canal, in around about the late 1970s, the Broxtow Council worked really hard with British Waterways, which is now the Canal and River Trust, to create a towpath, because there wasn't actually a towpath in existence. So following on from that work was the creation of Nottingham's Big Track. And the Big Track is a very, very large network of cycleways, footpaths, that connects Nottingham Station all the way to Beeston Lock. So it's around about 10 miles of walkways, cycleways, which do not have any cars at all in use. So that's a fantastic resource for Nottingham. And what we're trying to do is trying to encourage all of the 75,000 people that live within the one kilometre distance of the canal to come down and use the towpaths. The Nottingham Narrowboat Project takes out a wide range of groups from different parts of the community in the city. We do many day trips where we're going out from our base, maybe heading up to Beeston or down on the river towards Colic. But we also do longer trips. Quite a few of the local scout troops, guides, brownies, use us for weekend camping trips. We do weekend camping trips for youth groups. We also take people out on the Duke of Edinburgh Gold Award where they spend five days on the boat. The narrowboat project's really important to me because um, I've been retired for quite a few years and it gives me a chance to put something back into the community. Uh, the favourite thing about Nottingham Canal is it's a great asset to the city. Well, we love it. It's good for everybody. It would be a shame to lose it. There's a real diverse variety of different people that use and enjoy the canal. So from boaters to people that might do paddle boarding to school groups that come down and enjoy the canal people just walking through maybe on their commute to work, people who may be part of a, a more formal walking holiday, people who are taking canal holidays. The, the, it's just huge, all the different variety of people that enjoy the canals. I use the canal for training mainly. We get on the canal just by the River Trent and then we paddle all the way up to Beeston. I usually use the whole section of the canal. Uh, we sometimes have races to the top of Beeston and then race all the way back down. Personally, I like going through town. That's my favourite spot because it's always quite a good atmosphere. Where we're located within Castle Wharf is actually part of the Nottingham Canal Conservation Area. We've got Wilford Street to the west, Carrington Street to the east, and Carrington Street actually has its own Townscape Heritage Initiative. And at the Canal River Trust, we're doing work to try and complement 
that initiative at Carrington Street, um, trying to bring people into the canal area because obviously up near the busy streets there is a slightly different character, it's very busy, it's very commercial, so we're trying to encourage people to walk down from the Carrington Street area, the Wilford Street area, into the Canal Wharf uh, and enjoy what it has to offer. It is a wonderful thing to see canal boats running up and down it. Or, although they are mainly family boats now, it's still a nice thing to see. <laughs>